want to know, everyone's talking about Cat Williams and him calling out a lot of comedians. I mean, what are comedians who are beefing supposed to do when they meet, like, when they meet face to face? I mean, how do they settle it? Uh, I don't know. I guess it kind of depends. Like, if it's some disrespect involved, I feel like, and as men, you got to, like, go to gladiator school. The disrespect can't be tolerated. As a man, like me personally, I, I fully believe I'm going to die by my respect. That's just me. So, like, if it's disrespect, if it's something you feel like a man disrespected you or your family or something you stand for, then it got to be handled in a certain way, I would assume, in my opinion. But if it's just, like, I don't know, if it's, like, a, said a joke or, or some frivolous shit, he cracked a roast on you or something like that, then shit. Roast back. Have a roast battle, motherfucker. Figure it out. Oh, okay. So, pretty much, comedians should have fun with this, maybe. Yeah, I don't feel like it should get, I mean, your joke, I mean, their, li I mean, their lives and their careers to be have be, be funny crack jokes so shit make 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 fun out of it i guess do you get mad when you know say a joke gets stolen and you know a comedian a fellow comedian stole a joke i mean should that person get mad should they be able to get i mad? can say i uh when we do the, we do the show wilding out like we be in having our little moment where we crack jokes and then i hear a motherfucker steal my joke and take that joke to the stage yeah. i do get mad at that uh, and I feel like other comedians on the show, if that happens to them, we do get mad at that. Um, but that ain't cool. It's like, you come up with your own shit. But, you <laughs> yeah. know what I mean? Uh, I mean, I feel like I would do the same thing Cat did. And throw my joke, I'm just gonna call it out. Like, that's not your joke, motherfucker. Yeah. You ain't that funny, you ain't that creative. I mean, you know, Cat Williams pretty much said, Michael Blackson has a fake African accent. This is a cat. I mean, come on. I've never heard Michael Blackson talk in any other accent but his African accent. That don't mean that Cat's lying. Cat could be very well telling the truth. I just ain't never heard him talk in no other accent, me personally. But, shit, this is Hollywood, home of the Cap. So, shit, you never know it. He could be uh, just a complete, regular, talking brother, not African at all. He just, I don't know. I don't know. You got to catch him. You got to catch him fresh out the bed or something. And I'm, I'm not catching no grown man fresh out the bed. So, I wouldn't know. I know. So, there, I mean, you know, this all got started because of a podcast that Kat did. I mean, you know, right now there's a lot of podcasts. I mean, should comedians or, like, you know, artists in general watch what they say because of these podcasts? Should they be careful? Um, I mean, if you can fight, say what the fuck you want. <laughs> if you can fight, yeah, say you can what fight, you want. Yeah, if you can fight, say what the fuck you want. I can fight. So I say what the fuck I want in any podcast. Me personally, a lot of can't fight. So if you can't fight, then be careful what you say because it's because that can fight. That might whoop your ass when they see you. So what, I want to know your advice for Cat Williams right now. What, what oh, I know Cat. Cat can fight. Oh. Cat ain't gonna be fucked with. That's my aunt. That's unk. That's big unk right there. I'm with Cat, man. I stand with Cat, man. Yeah, I'm with unk. So, yeah, I'm with him. Don't hey. If, if if he catch one of them in person, it'll be the same energy he had on that podcast to their face, and he he'll be on that with them people. That's one thing I can respect about it. He's not gonna say nothing on no podcast that he wouldn't say to their face. So, I mean, a lot of comedians feel like, you know, they're kind of against him right now. I mean, what, where do you kind of stand right now? I mean, oh, I, I could never is... be against Cat Williams. I'm I'm with him. That's, I'm on his team for, so forever. Me and Cat, I, Cat was on my first TV show, uh, Tracy Morgan show. I've been knowing Cat since I was about seven years old. I'm 27 now. So, mm -hmm. you know what I mean? One thing about it, I stand on loyalty. Like, I, he really can't do no wrong in my eyes. I'm with him.